monster recoveries. Good day, everyone. So for this lesson, so we shall have our remainder uh, theory. So, uh, so let's consider now this question here. Okay. Okay, so let's consider muna this, uh, let's first consider this problem here. So, let's find the remainder, okay, when x squared minus 5x plus 6 is divided by, okay, let's first have letter A here. So, let's have x squared minus 1. Okay, now, there are several methods in finding the remainder of this. So, the usual, okay, the rule of the usual, okay, so solution 1 is by, Long division. Okay. Kung gusto ko, kung yung mga dating videos na pinupost ko sa channel na to, so, ang long division usually it begins in writing your dividend so, x squared so, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 so, and divided by so, the usual na minagawa na and then yung divisor ay yung and then you will divide it a traditional way. So you start with your first terms here. So x squared divided by x is x. Then in the linear mo siya dito na. Okay? And then x times x is x squared. And then x times negative 1 will be negative x. And then we will be subtracting this. Okay? So by subtraction, this becomes negative, this becomes positive. So ito ang makakancel out ng linear. Okay, so negative 5x plus x will be called by negative 4x. And then, if we know that it's C, positive 6. Tapos, if we put it natin, it's negative 4. And then, it's naman, ito ang first terms na. So, negative 4x divided by x is negative 4. Then, multiplication then. So, negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So, magiging plus 4. And then, isa sa tractor naman natin siya. So, again, sa subtraction, magpapalit ang simbol ito. This becomes positive. This becomes negative. And then, we proceed with the rule in adding integers. So, automatically, people, dahil, dahil uh, positive negative 4 siya, magiging 0 na naman siya. Mag-cancel out to. And then, we shall have now. So, so, 6 minus 4 becomes so usually, pag sinulat natin yan, yung yung quotient plus 2 all over x minus 1. But we're not after this answer, after we're just after the remainder. Yung naman sa akin, find the remainder. Okay, so therefore, yeah, okay. Therefore, your remainder is 2. So nakakita natin yung remainder. This is solution number 1, okay? Solution number one. Okay. So solution number two. Okay. Uh, so solution number two is by synthetic division. Naman. Pwede naman dito. Okay. By synthetic division. Okay. So synthetic division naman. Kung alam naman na dito. So, you correct that. Okay. So, your Please, in your dividend, your highest degree is x squared. You will start by writing the numerical coefficients from x squared pababa doon sa kanyang constant value. So, x squared, so you type x, tapos yung constant value. Okay? Yeah. So, for your x here, your constant, uh, for your x squared, the constant, uh, the numerical coefficient is 1. Dito naman kay x, ang numerical coefficient is negative 5. And then, your constant value is 6. And then, for x minus 1, okay, so solve mo yung value ng x, that would be equal to 1. Yan. Kung so, naalala niyo pa yung ginawa natin natin sa synthetic division. And then, yan. Gagawin na natin synthetic division. We're going on 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. And then, we combine. So, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Yan. Yes. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then, combine 6 by negative 4. Yeah, so, the answer is 2. So, ideally, okay, so then, write the quotient. This is so, x squared out. So, your quotient will begin with x minus 4 plus 2 all over. So, yung ganun din yan. Okay, pero, hindi naman tayo after yan. So, ito yung, ito yung x, ito yung 
constant value, ito nga yung yung lumalabas na remainder, yung nasa hulo na yan. So therefore, okay, so you will, you will notice that we obtain the same result. So therefore, your remainder is So, ganun pa rin naman. No? Mak makukuha niyo pa rin yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, this is your second solution. Okay? Now, meron, syempre, may mas madali pang solution dito. Okay? So, uh, may I erase this one? Okay? So, kaya nga natin. Okay. Okay. So, this time, this time, we'll be using now the concept of what we call the remainder. Okay, so the remainder theorem states that if the polynomial P of X is divided by X minus C, then the remainder is P of C. So, anong ibig sabihin niya yun ito? So, we will be like accepting now here that your polynomial X squared minus 5X plus 6 as your P of X. So, yan. Yeah. So, gagawin natin siya polynomial function. So, we shall have now X squared minus 5X plus 6. Now, we Okay, so ang sabi kanina, ang magiging remainder daw, okay, pag divide daw, si P of X, eh, if X by C, is yung P of C. So, ibig sabihin kayo dito, now, so, considering now your dividend, okay, for your dividend X minus 1, okay, so your value of C here would be equal to 1. So, yan yung uh, idea natin. So, yun yung ipapasa natin na value dito. So, ito yung magiging pa P of C. So, P of 1 right now would be equal to So, kaya na gagawin natin So, so substitute ka natin yung value So, that would be 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 6 Okay, then after that So, susunod lang natin So, 1 squared obviously is still 1 minus So, 5 Okay, plus 6 And then combine it to So, that's naman whole number Combine na lang natin Uh, ako mas madali sa akin ito 1 plus 6 is 7 minus 5 is 2 Ayun na So your remainder would be 2 so, Bakit so ano? Yung solving natin So this is the easiest way or of getting the remainder when a certain function is divided to a binomial in, in this form Okay? Pag ganito yung itsuka niya Okay? Yan yeah. So, let's have another example here. Okay? So, let me erase this. Okay. Okay. So, that's this time, that's now. Okay. Since uh, using the same polynomial, okay, so we will be dividing it this time by x plus 2. So, we will no longer use the long division or the synthetic division. Diretso tayo sa remainder theorem. See? We're just after the remainder. Remainder lang naman ang hinahanap. Hindi na yung mismong quotient niya. Okay? So, So, from your P of X is equal to X squared minus 5X plus 6. Yan ay pa-consider natin. Okay, your X will remain to or your C. So, your C here would be found now equal to negative 2. So, yung ano lang, magpapalit lang ng symbol. Okay? So, your so P of negative 2 would be now equal to sa sahabang substitute. Substitute in the value, so evaluating it. Yan. So, negative 2 value is squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 6. Okay? Then, ayan, uh, negative 2 quantity squared would be equal to 4, magiging positive. Okay, so minus 5 here, let's consider this already as a negative number. So negative 5 times negative 2 would be equal to 10. So magiging plus 10 na siya. Plus 6. So add natin lahat yan. So 4, 4 plus 10 is 14, plus 6 is 20. Therefore, ayan, what do you say? Go sa pa, okay? So the remainder would be... 20. Okay, let's have another third example. Okay, okay. Ito naman, for example, let's say, let's divide it by x minus 3 this time. Okay, so ganun pa rin consideration. So, we shall have your c here, which is equal to 3. So, parang yun yung papalit sa loob ng x natin. So, from your original function, p of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, so we will be uh, evaluating it using x equals 3. So, ganun lang siya. So, times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 6. Okay. So, 3 squared is 9. Okay. And then, minus, so, 5 times 3 is 15. 
last 6 o para sa akin mas madali pa rito so 5 so 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 15 ayun so your remainder is 0 Okay. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? Yan. So, let's have now our next lesson. Okay. Ang bilis to. Next lesson na agad. Okay. So, let me get the next series. Okay. Okay. So, let's have now this question here. Let's consider now this example. So, which of the following here is a factor of your polynomial 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. So, we have three choices here. Okay? So, we have now x minus 3 here. x plus 2 and x plus 1. So, this time we shall be using now the concept of what we call the factor theorem. Ano naman itong factor theorem na to? Okay, so your factor theorem states that Okay, ito yung ano ngayon ha? Okay, your factor theorem states that if p of c is equal to 0 then x minus c is a factor of p of x. So, ang idea dito, gagamit tayo ng konsepto ng remainder theorem. Pero ang idea, kailangan na So, obviously, kapag nag-divide ka ng isang number sa isa pang number na factor niya, ang magiging remainder supposedly should be zero. Parang ganito yan, diba? Kunyari. So, we can say right now that 4 is a factor of 24. Since when we divide 24 by 4, there will be no remainder. Walang lalabas na remainder ka, tama? Which is equal to 6. Yun yung idea. Whereas, Okay, so for here is a factor. Yun yung idea niya at. Whereas, when you divide 25, for example, 25 pa, 24 na lang din yan eh. 24 divided by 5. So, lalo mas dito ay meron siyang remainder. So, the answer here is 4 remainder 4. So, dahil may lalo mas ngayon ang remainder siya, so 5 here is a factor of 24. Dito, lalo mas ang remainder. So, ito yung ino-obtain natin. Okay, yan yung idea ngayon nito at theorem na ito, the factor theorem, okay? So, when you find the function, or when you evaluate the function by your divisor, the remainder should be zero. And yun, yung converse naman niya, yan, so, if x minus c is a factor of p of x then p of c should be equal to 0 obviously obviously okay so kailangan ang lalabas na remainder niya raw ay 0 kapag in-evaluate natin so let's try this right now okay let's start with letter a here let's try natin for a here so your a here is x minus 3 therefore your c here is equal to 3. Now, i-evaluate lang natin. So, we have now your P of X which is equal to 2X cubed plus 5X squared minus 3. So, i-evaluate lang natin and titingnan natin kung zero ba ang lalabas na remainder. Take note that it should be zero. Okay? So, we have now your P of 3 which is now equal to substitute lang na yun. Okay? So, 4 times 3 cubed plus 5 times 3 squared minus 3. E-evaluate lang natin. So, substitution lang yan. Okay. Then, check natin ngayon. Okay. So, this will be 2 times 27. Okay. Plus 5. Okay. Ano muna? So, 29 minus 3. Yan. So, medyo mag- dito pa lang. Medyo nakikita na natin na hindi sa pagiging zero, no? So, 27 times 2 is 15. Four, then plus so five times nine is forty-five minus three. So yeah, so we let's add it to so fifty-four plus forty-five is ninety-nine minus three is ninety-six. So the malabas ninety-six. So hindi siya zero r ano. So therefore we can say right now here that x minus three is not a factor of P of X. So, 
Audio Hindi. Ayan. So, si letter A ay Hindi. Okay? So, letter A here is not A. Factor. So, try naman natin kay letter B. So, we have the X plus 2 here. So, meaning your C here will become equal to negative 2. So, i-evaluate natin. So, we have now your P of X. So, yung pangin yung iyong function. So, we're still evaluating the same function. Minus 3. So, we shall have now the P of negative 2 this time. So, magiging 2 times negative 2 quantity cube minus 5 times negative 2 quantity squared minus 3. Careful tayo sa mga symbols. Okay? So, we shall have now 2 Times the quantity, okay, negative 2, quantity cube is negative 8, okay, still in negative 4, minus 5, okay, so negative 2 squared, magiging positive 4 this time, magiging positive 4, minus 3, okay, so ngayon, pwede natin i-multiply, so 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, minus, so 5 times 4 is 20, oh, so pala, so baka medyo para yung magulo, minus, Three. Yeah. Okay. So, anin natin siya. So, so negative. Oh, tingnan natin ulit, ha? Okay. Uh, wait lang. Wait lang. Wait lang. Uh, sorry. 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 Plus pala dapat. Oh, plus. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, operate na natin. Okay. So, negative 16 minus 3 is negative 19. Yeah, 16 is negative 19 plus 20 is positive 1. Okay, now, okay, zero by your remainder na lumabas kay negative 2, hindi pa rin siya. So, therefore, we can say right now that x plus 2 is still not a factor of your function 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus so, hindi rin siya. So, si letter D, hindi rin. Okay? So, nakuha. Okay. So, si letter C nga, tingnan natin. Okay? Si letter C. So, for x plus 1 here, okay, so the value of C here will become equal to negative 1. Okay? So, using the same function, kasi siya lang naman yung dividend natin. So, we have now 2x cubed plus 5x squared Minus 3. Okay, evaluate natin ngayon. So, we shall have now your C, which is equal to negative 1. So, yung value ng X. So, papalitan lang natin. Negative 1, quantity cube. Plus 5 times negative 1, quantity squared. Minus 3. Okay, so medyo sana nasusund nasusundan. Okay, now. Okay, now. Solve natin ngayon dito ngayon. Okay, so this time... Okay, so 2, okay, so negative 1, quantity cube would still be negative 1. Okay, dito naman, negative 1 squared would be positive 1 minus 3. So, multiply lang natin, so 2 times negative, so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, which would be plus 5 minus 3. Yeah, so 5 minus 2 is 3, minus 3, 0. Ayun, lukod. So, yun. So, nag-zero siya. So, na-satisfy natin yung theorem. Okay. Therefore, okay. Therefore, we can consider right now your x minus, ah, uh, sorry, your x plus 1 as a factor of this function. So, we can see that x plus 1 is a factor of, yan, of this function. Huwag na natin kung may tuloy. Okay. So, ito ay, check. Okay. So, kasi dito, lumabas ang remainder is, 96. Lumabas naman dito ang remainder ay 1. So, dito pumasok 0 ang remainder. So, therefore, this is a factor of this polynomial. Yeah. Okay. So, let's have now one more example. Okay. Alright. So, this will be our last example. Sample. Yeah. So let's find out the value of k. Yeah. So that x plus 2 becomes a factor of this polynomial x cubed plus kx squared minus x minus 2. Okay, take note. What we're looking at is for the value of k here in your polynomial x cubed 
plus kx squared plus x minus 2. Ayun, so, yeah, <laughs> medyo nawala ako sa sinasabi ko. But anyway, naiintindihan naman. Ang idea dito, ano ay yung magiging, ano dapat yung numerical coefficient ng x squared ko dito sa polynomial na to para si x plus 2 ay magiging factor neto. Okay, again, so gagawin din natin ngayon yung concept ng factor theorem. Okay, remember that in your factor theorem, okay, yung factor theorem ang sabi, your, your P of C should become equal to C O. So, ang idea dito, okay, so kunin muna natin yung divisor na X plus 2. So, kunin na muna natin yung value ng C dito. So, your C here will become equal to negative 2. So, yun yung idea dyan. Okay, so from your function, so we will consider now this polynomial as your polynomial function. Okay, so we shall have now uh, x cubed plus k x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, take note right now. Okay, ito ang idea ha. Okay, ito ang idea. So, papalitan natin ngayon. Okay, papalitan natin ngayon. So, ang idea dapat dito, okay, Okay, your P of negative 2 should become equal to 0. Yun yung idea dyan. Maging 0 dapat to. Okay, maging 0 dapat to. So, ang mangyayari ngayon dito, okay, so kapat ako ngayon ito ng 0. So, 0 now should be equal to, okay, kapat ako ko ngayon ito, so yung x ko ngayon, i-evaluate natin sa negative 2, 1, 2, plus k, times negative 2 quantity square minus okay, i-open close time this muna natin negative 2 okay, minus 2 yeah. so pinagdan muna natin lahat ng value ng x this time by negative 2 yung na-obtain natin value ng c dito okay, bago pinagdan yan okay, ang idea nga dito kailangan kapag sinasitut ko yung x na maging value ay 0 okay, so nag-iwan ngayon dito yung value ng k kasi nga siya yung hinahanap yung value. Okay, so evaluate na natin. So, 0 is equal lang po. Okay, so negative 2, quantity Q is equal to negative K. Okay, plus. Okay, ipa-plus mo na natin. Okay, so negative 2, quantity squared is 4. So, magiging 4K. Okay, isinulat ko na yung 4 sa harapan kasi doon naman sa multiplication. Okay? Okay, then negative times negative, lagawin ko ng positive 4 ito. Minus. Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay, ha? Minus 2. Halilig ko lang si sir. Pasensya na, okay? Yan, okay. Obviously, magiging C1 na yan. Tama tayo? Okay, so magiging C1 na yan. So, magiging C1 na yan. So, magiging C1 na yan. Itatanspose ko ngayon si 8 sa kabilang side. Okay, so we have now 8. Which is equal now to 4K. And then, we we'll divide both sides by 4. Divide both sides by 4. We shall now obtain the value of K, which is equal to... So, ibig sabihin, ang value na ngayon ng k mo dito is equal to 2. Ngayon, i-check natin kung tama yung magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, lumalabas ngayon na ang ating function p of x should be equal now to x cubed plus yung na-obtain na value ng k which is 2. So, 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, yun yung value ng ano dito. Ngayon, kukunin ko yung p of negative 2. Ano? Okay? So, isa-substitute ko. Okay. So, p of negative 2. So, negative 2 quantity cubed plus 2 times negative 2 quantity square minus quantity negative 2 minus 2. Kailangan maging 0 yung value nito kasi yun na yung ino-obtain natin para maging factor siya. Kung hindi siya maging 0, ibig lang sabihin yan, bali yung na-obtain natin na value ng x. So, gawin natin siya ngayon. Okay? So, check natin. So, this is negative 8. Okay. Plus 2 times the quantity. Okay, this becomes 4 this time kasi magiging positive. Okay? Plus 2, kasi negative times negative becomes positive. Minus 2. Magiging 0 na yan. Tama? Okay, so mga magitira, we have the negative 8 plus 8. Ayun na. Okay, so obviously, it becomes 0. Ayun. So dahil nag-0 yung iyong remainder, we can say right now that x plus 2 here is a factor of this function. Therefore, your value of k, which is 2, is correct. Yeah. So, I hope uh, may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Okay. And I hope makatulong.
tulong ito sa pagsagot ng kung ano man ang pinasasagutan ng teacher sa inyo. Uh, module man yan, or activity, or sit work, or quiz. Sana makatulong ito. So, thank you for watching and stay safe pa rin, okay? Kasi nasa pandemic pa rin tayo as of this moment. Goodbye! Kukahin ko na ulit.